Hey Beauty Warriors, welcome back to Battle Tested Beauty. Today we're going to talk about the November Ipsy Glam Bag. I love this bag! I love the bag. I mean the contents, we'll get to that, but I love this bag so much. This is the cutest thing. I'm going to use this all the freaking time. It's just like all the colors I love. I'm like very close to being a cougar, so I really kind of like my prints now. It's just, it's growing on me. Embrace that. Anyways. Okay, so we got our November Ipsy Glam Bag. I'm I'm so sorry. I got the normal Glam Bag. I am having a hard time kind of trying to keep track of all these new upgraded features and stuff like that. Of all these different subscription bags that I get from. So like I'm getting them on the wait list for their premium, I think it's called. But they don't want me. Hang on a second. My, my heater just went off. So yeah, I'm on the wait list for the, the Ipsy Bag Premium. Just let me have it. But anyways, neither here nor there. Okay, so let's talk about what's in this bag. As normal, like any Ipsy bag, you get five sample items. So in this bag, I've gotten a product from The Balm, I got a product from MAC, I got a product from Verso Skincare, Nomad Cosmetics, and Lovecraft Beauty. Those last two, I love those brands. I just, everything I've gotten from them so far, I love. So let's just go down the list and uh, talk about this little card and they'd give you all the information. I'm wearing everything that I got in my bag on my face with the exception of the MAC cleanser, which we'll get to anyways. So obviously you're not gonna walk around with that on. So yeah, I think I look nice. <laughs> I made it all work lovely, I think. Let's just get right into it. First thing on the list here is the Balm Cosmetics Mary Duminizer. They always have the cutest freaking names always and it actually suckers me in a lot like they're cute little man eaters and stuff like that i actually don't like any of their shimmer products this is way too much for me but i've bought so many of them just because the name is hilarious so what does this little card say we're all about keeping beauty fun and the balm cosmetics just does just that with quirky packaging and quick fix products this glow boosting champagne gold liquid highlighter adds instant radiance to your cheekbones inner eye or cupid's bow and it's great for all skin tones. And they give you a little tip with these too, which is kind of cute. Oh, they all get a little tip. Oh, that's handy. Thanks. Get creative with this multitasking product. Dab on as a highlighter anywhere on your face or mix with moisturizer, primer, or foundation to add a luminous sheen to your complexion. Okay, so I'm wearing it today. I put it directly onto my skin. This is actually the first time I wore it. I have had this bag for about a week now and I've played with everything in it except for this guy because I have no place for it in my daily routine to be completely honest. Although, okay, so I was putting it on today and I'm like, ah, this is going hard, ah, it doesn't blend it. And then eventually it blended in and I worked it and I worked it and I worked it. I'm like, oh, I actually like this. So um, I eat crow. I have some space for uh, a liquid cream highlighter in my life. I should probably be using more creams as I am getting a little bit more creasy and a little bit chill, as they say. But yeah, so I was a little bit worried that it was going to settle into my fine lines here. So I put it on underneath my foundation. Then I put a thinned out um, Estee Lauder double wear on over top of it. Because I thought maybe the double wear was too thick. But it's my favorite. It's the only one that looks natural on me as far as I'm concerned. So I thinned it a little tiny bit and I like it. I, it's on my forehead. It's on the highlights of my cheekbones, down my nose. Oh, I'm just, whatever. A little bit on my chin, Cupid's bow. I mean, it kind of, I mean, it, it dimmed it down quite a bit, which is good because I don't really like a high, high sheen highlighter. Like, do you need to see all those little creases that I'm trying to hide? No, I don't want you to see those little creases I'm trying to hide. This actually didn't settle in my creases, didn't settle in anything, and it doesn't seem to be highlighting anything that I don't want highlighted. I'm really happy with this product. I'm going to use the living crap out of this tiny little bottle. Maybe you can buy another one. We'll see. All right. So that guy... Mm, approved, approved. Next little guy on my list here is the MAC Cleanse Off Oil. So this is one of those double cleansing type things where you would put it on, you'd wipe off your makeup with it first and then go in with water and your cleanser and all that kind of jam. I already double cleansed with an oil as it is. So let's, let's get to what this thing says. Sometimes removing your makeup feels almost as good as wearing it. Made by iconic beauty brand MAC, this gentle oil cleanser gets rid of your most stubborn makeup. And it's made with vitamin E, olive fruit, jojoba seed, and primrose oils to hydrate, nourish, and protect your skin. The little tip they give you is pour a quarter size amount of cleansing oil in the palm of your hand and massage it all over your face when it's dry to loosen up makeup. Rinse or wipe with a damp washcloth. Okay, so this side, uh, it, it does a fine job, I suppose. I'm used to this. So this is what I use regularly. I buy like three of them at a time. I love the Neutrogena Ultralight Cleansing Oil. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It takes all my makeup off. 
the matte cleansing oil. Okay, th let me back that up. Basically, the way I see it, if, it's, if whatever it is I'm using to wash my face doesn't get all of my eye makeup off, all of it. I want all of it off. If it doesn't get all of it off, how do I know it hasn't gotten all of the stuff that's in my pores out of my skin? That's much more important than all of my makeup off, right? So, Touchstone is removes all my eye makeup. This did not remove my eye makeup. I scrubbed, I scrubbed, I lost a lot of eyelashes and I still had a lot of uh, mascara on and then a lot of eyeliner and just... I don't hate it. It's not a bad product. I just won't buy this product because I don't think it cleansed as thoroughly as I'd like it to clean. When I use this guy and go in and cleanse off, you, like it's thicker too, by the way. And this is a little bit of a watery, runny formula. Uh, the Neutrogena Ultra Light Cleansing Oil takes everything off. Everything. Everything. And it's effortless. It works so quickly. The MAC, I'm probably not going to spend any money on buying that because I don't think it works as well as my significantly cheaper product, which I buy at Winners for $6.99. I don't think that MAC got my seal of approval, but I think it's a nice light cleansing oil and it works fantastic, I think, if you don't have heavy makeup on, but I just, I wouldn't use that as my, my, my oil step in removing my makeup if I have heavy makeup on. Neither here nor there. Don't hate it. Don't love it. Moving on. The next thing on my list is the Verso Skincare Hydrating Serum. This is a niacinamide-based serum, I suppose. So it's supposed to be hydrating and all that jam. I have been using it all week long. Let's see what it says here. This may be one of the smartest serums we've tried. Made by Verso Skincare, a Swedish brand known for its high-performance, science-backed products, this niacinamide-based serum majorly hydrates, evens out texture and tone, and boosts your skin's protective barrier. The tip is to gently spread a few drops of this light gel serum over your face. Avoid direct contact with your eyes. Duh. Okay, so uh, like skincare is kind of hard to tell. Like this, honestly, I, I can go through an entire full-size product of skincare before I actually see the, the results. So I'm not entirely sure about this. I've used it every day, one, twice a day, every day. So something that I did notice about this, and I don't know, because I did recently change to different um, cotton rounds, so I, I don't know, but... I did notice that there was some kind of residue coming up when I am trying to like apply some, like, you know, like my primer or, you know, like rubbing something in on my skin. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit coming up? And it's like a, like almost like a white film that's wiping off of my skin. And I thought that it was, it might be like cotton from my, the new brand of rounds. I started, I switched over to Quo from Joe Fresh. It was on sale, whatever, I don't care. So I, it could be that, but I'm quite certain it might be this. Maybe I'm just using too much and I, I don't know, but I didn't notice anything yet, but I have to give this a little bit more time because I don't think it's fair to judge skincare unless it like claims to have like drastic results. It is hydrating though, I'll give it that. It's very lightweight too. I actually put this on before moisturizing and forget to put my moisturizer on afterwards because I feel hydrated. So it has that going for it. So I'm going to give this an approval without actually having any real long-term experience with it. I don't know if it works really well, but it feels fantastic. It seems to hydrate really well. So it, it gets my pa it gets It passes with me. So now we're going to get into the stuff that I freaking Okay, so first, we're going to talk about the Nomad Cosmetics Sydney Bathers Kiss of Sun Bronzer and Contour Power Powder in Manly Beach. I have a hard time saying it's a long name. I've already almost completely destroyed the uh, like the embossing on there, which was a really cute little N M type thing. Anyways, I love this. It's a slightly, it's perfectly matte. It's slightly orange though, but don't freak out because it is the perfect slightly orange for me, or at least for me. So it's, so you can see this mild orangeness. It's more of like a terracotta-y, no, it's not even, it's because that, that implies red. It has a coolness to it somehow while still being kind of orange. So it looks natural. It looks normal. It looks real on me. I'm wearing it today. I've worn it every day <laughs> since I got it. I really, really, really love it. I don't know if I have anything else from Nomadic Cosmetics. I think I've received things from Nomadic Cosmetics, but once upon a time, I used to just like, if I didn't like something like immediately, I just gave it away to a friend. So I feel like somebody out there that I love very much has a whole bunch of Nomad Cosmetics products that I actually didn't give a chance to. <laughs> so I'm really impressed with this contour and, and bronzer power. I like it a lot. So let's see what little uh, thing said. I was so excited about it. I just had to tell you how much I love it before I even told you about the damn thing. Anyways, let's talk about the Nomad Cosmetics Sydney Bathers. I don't know who that is. 
Kiss of Sun Bronzer and Contour Power in Manly Beach. Nomad Cosmetic highlights the beauty and character of vibrant global destinations. Inspired by Surfer's Paradise in Sydney, Australia, this rich matte chocolate shade can be used to bronze or contour. Plus, it blends on smoothly and evenly. A little tip they give here there is swirl a fluffy brush in the bronzer and sweep it to the high points of your face where the sun would naturally hit, like your forehead, cheeks, nose, and chin. So I have it as a contour today. I didn't really bronze anything, whatever. So I'm wearing it as a contour today. I think it is quite ideal for my skin tone to, to uh, contour with. Contoured with it, so it's, you know, just there, there, along here, down in my jawline, and along my nose. And I think that looks quite normal and natural to me. I don't know, we'll see. Once I play this back and be like, girl, you look orange. It's an Oompa Loompa, but no. I really like it. I've gotten a few compliments even since I started wearing it. People are like, wow, you look so bronzed and natural. So I feel, I feel good. I feel pretty in this Nomad Cosmetics Manly Beach Bronzer and Contour. So I would highly recommend this. I'm going to get more from this brand, I think. Um, so far, so good. Nomad Cosmetics Manly Beach Bronzer and Contour Power. Yes. Definitely. Def Last item in my bag is a Lovecraft Beauty Blush in the color Dauphine. So this is this, oh, sorry, it felt dirty. I just used it. So uh, Lovecraft Beauty, I really like these products. I buy something every single time I get a, a glam bag. I put an add-on in there and I'm really happy to get any of these products in there. Before I even get into this, I just want to talk about something that really drives me nuts. There's two things I don't like about these products. And it has nothing to do with the actual product. It's the component entirely, or at least at the very least with these little um, sample size ones, which are huge, like these are impressively large. I really, really like it. Okay, so first thing I don't like is the, is how you open it. I, so I just did my nails and look at that. Look at that. That's from trying to open this stupid box. <laughs> so you gotta like actually like use something to pop it open. Otherwise you're gonna frick your nails up. Okay, and last, do you see the name of this anywhere? And this becomes a problem because I really like this brand. So I have like a whole bunch of them. And I have to memorize the names of these. So Lovecraft, if you're watching, you should probably not, but whatever. If you're watching, can you put your names of your products on the actual sample? I know it's just samples and we're nobody and we haven't bought anything from you yet, but please. Okay, what is it you've got to say about this? A brand that's about showing yourself love. Made by makeup artist Francelle Dali. Lovecraft Beauty celebrates unique style and self-care. Treat yourself to a glowy, sun clinched flush with this light-reflecting terracotta blush. It's so versatile, you can wear it 24-7. The little tip here is swirl your favorite brush into the pan, top off any excess, and sweep blush onto the opposite of your cheek in an upward motion. Like, we don't know that. Anyways. Okay, I love this. I really, I have loved everything that I've gotten from Lovecraft Beauty so far as well. So it really is like a kind of like a light terracotta. I've got it on today and it goes really nicely with this Nomad bronzer. Whoever curated my bag did a really good job. I was crying about that last boxy charm that I got and I got like bizarre, like I got this like weird space scene palette with sparkles and dark colors and blues and like it was all, I didn't, I didn't, whatever. I didn't like the thing. It was fine, but I didn't like it. But, and they also gave me this like red lipstick in the same box and it looked like, it looked like a clown. Like who curated that? But anyways, whoever curated this bag nailed it. I think they did a really, really, really good job. Everything that I've gotten in here just makes me feel pretty. I like it and it goes together really nicely. So I've got this, I'm wearing Dauphine paired with the Nomad Cosmetics contour right now. I love it. Let me just give you a little swatch of this. So like I said, so far I've loved everything from this company as well. It's really subtle. It's peachy, terracotta-y. Actually, you know what? They say terracotta, but I don't know if I really am feeling terracotta in that one. I feel like it's much more peachy, but I'm down with it. I enjoy it. I like it. I'm happy with it. Thank you. Thank you for sending me that. It's a win. Okay, so let's talk about a little bit about what I got in addition to that. So I always try and add on items so you can pay, you know, there's, I think they have three different tiers or more now. Gosh, they're expanding that like crazy. So you can always add on a little extra. So I, I always add on like two, three, four items. So first thing I'm going to talk about, I actually had already washed this brush and then I went and used it again, like immediately. So, anyway. okay. So I added on the Glow Moda Pro. I should probably find out how much this costs. I'll put the, how much I've paid for it down in like a little leaky thing somewhere because I don't remember off the top of my head. So this is the Moda Pro Glow Brush. 
So it's a, it's a little larger, tapered, fluffy brush. And I just like Moda Pro brushes. Like, I like the handle and whatnot. I have several of these already. And I just like the handles. I like the quality of them. I think they're great. I didn't have too much of a use for this, but I want to have a use for it. And I think I'm going to start using it to, uh, to like, to fan out and set my under eyes when I, when I do go and do that. Because this is kind of like the right size. I like the size of it. I just... I want to be able to get into certain places. I probably won't use this for highlights. I just I like it a little more diffuse than that. But so far, I really like this. I've used it on my eyes. I've used it, you know, like under my eyes. I've used it to like get makeup in the corners of my nose and stuff. I've used it with cream products as well as powder already. And I really like it. It works quite nicely. It works best with powder products, but yeah, whatever. I think the number is BMX265 Glow, just in case you were worried. And again, I will put the price down in there because I don't know how much I paid for it. Okay, so I could not help myself. I saw Gigi Gorgeous released a whole bunch of makeup and Ipsy is carrying a whole bunch of it so you can get some of the products from them. So I picked up the only blush in the color Authentic. And this is a beautiful, beautiful rosy color. Let's find a little spot right there. Very rosy. I wore it several times already. Looks natural as all hell. Like, honestly, I saw it and I was like, ah, oh no, <laughs> that's going to take a little bit of work. But it looks natural. You can build it up. It looks fantastic. Gigi Gorgeous knocked out of the park with this thing. I'm really impressed. And I highly, highly, highly recommend that line from what I've seen so far, at least from that one. Okay, so I couldn't help myself and I grabbed another item from Lovecraft Beauty from the add-on or Ipsy add-on store, whatever the hell it's called. This is a little bit more of a redder tone than the... Um, Dauphine. It's a roser, redder. Let me just get that Dauphine out and uh, I'll swatch it right next to it. So this one is Oscalia. And there's Dauphine. Dauphine's a lot lighter and paler and definitely you can see the terracotta like feel to it. When you look at the Dauphine right next to Oscalia. Um, Oscalia, another one that I really like. It's a very rosy type, like a dusty rose type feel to it. It really complements my skin. I really enjoy it and I'm very, very happy. And I'll put how much I paid for it down in the little, little thing, scene thing there. But, uh, so I'm all stocked up on blushes now. I really had a uh, shortage of blushes and I went in today. <laughs> I went in on this bag and I got a lot. I'm happy. Hey Beauty Warriors, that's about covers it. Thank you so much for joining me today and talking about my November 2019 Wild Side Ipsy Glam bag. Again, this pattern just makes me smile. This is so me. Thank you for this bag. I love it. Okay, guys. Talk to you soon. Go train. <laughs>